In part one of two parts, Mike Hoare, then in his late 90s, reads a remarkable passage from Anthony Mockler's book about their meeting in Leopoldville in 1964. Three minutes. On Christmas Eve, 1964, I flew into Leopoldville, the capital of the Congo. It was my first important assignment as a special correspondent for The Guardian, and I was apprehensive. At The Guardian, the general view was that mercenaries, who had been infesting the Congo on and off for the past four years, were the dregs of Europe, hired killers. The particular reason for my apprehension was that my assignment was to track down the leader of the mercenaries, the hired killer par excellence, Mad Mike Hall. I had no idea where I would find him or how he would react to a journalist from a liberal newspaper. I had visions of trekking into the interior, Kivu, Katanga, Oriental, in the wake of hordes of rabid, bloodthirsty and murderous mercenaries, if indeed I ever got that far. I had even more worrying visions of being shot out of hand once my mission was revealed and being casually floated down a remote stretch of the river Congo where, so they said in Leopoldville, bodies of all government ministers would sooner or later be seen passing by. It came therefore as something of an anticlimax when I discovered that Mad Mike Hall was staying in room 534 of the Hotel Leopold II, where I was myself installed. His physical appearance came as an even greater shock. He bore no resemblance at all to a hired killer or a dreg from a gutter. He was short, dapper and very neatly turned out in light khaki with a major's crown on his epaulets. He wore a beret but he carried an attaché case, not a weapon. He resembled a British officer from a good regiment, though possibly politer and more courteous than most of that class. He appeared to be in no way insane.